Z Stars, welcome back to our channel. How you doing? What's good in the hood? <laughs> Today I'm coming at you with a hairstyle video. I know I like never ever do hairstyle videos, you guys. This was actually requested a long time ago, and I'm sure as soon as I post these pics on Instagram, you all are gonna wanna know exactly how I got this hairstyle. This is my super high ninja bun. It's actually quite easy to achieve, and I'm not a hairstyle person, but I was able to pull this off. So if I can pull this off, you can totally pull this off. If you have super thick and super kinky hair, this is a way to go about making your hair nice and sleek, making your buns nice and tight, but not too tight because we're also tender headed over here. Please stay tuned for the video, but before I get into the tutorial, I'd like you guys to do a few very simple things for me. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to at least 2,500 likes. It'll let me know that you guys wanna see more hairstyle videos, and I'll certainly put out another hairstyle video if you guys can do that for me. Be sure to also comment down below. Let me know what kinds of hairstyles you guys do on your hair. Let me know what other hairstyles you think I should do. Let me know if you think this is real sexy. If you do, you know, you know, just comment. Be sure to also share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones, especially those of us that are hairstyle challenged. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications. I don't know what you're doing if you're not subscribed to our channel. We're pretty popping over here. You can be a Z star, a member of the Zara and Nicola TV fam fam. Anywho, let's get right into this video. To get this bun on and popping, I've started with hair that I've untwisted. And I'm just going to basically separate my roots so that I can actually put the bun in order. You guys can go check out my scalp massage video. That's actually how I prepped my hair for this style. I just took down my twist, massage my scalp, and now it's time to get this hair slayed and laid. So guys, I'm taking my Afro pick and I'm going to remove the clip from my hair so that I can separate my roots. Now I'm really just doing this so that I could get my hair super smooth. I'm going to have to definitely spray it because my hair is really thick and quite kinky and I didn't stretch it a whole lot. Oh wow, <laughs> struggle. I'm also extremely tender headed you guys so this is about to be very interesting. But when I'm doing these kinds of styles I try to be as careful as possible so that I don't injure myself. I'm going to section off the front half of my hair. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to do it where the twists naturally fall so that I don't stress out my scalp at all. Going to gather all of that into a loose ponytail and I'm going to get a hairband and just put it aside for now. Now I'm going to take the hair at the back and put that into another ponytail. Yeah, that's actually not enough hair. Let me take a little bit of hair out of the top. Okay, that's better. So now I'm just gauging and making sure that I've grabbed enough hair for each section. And I think I have. Now we're going to take down the section in the front and I'm going to lightly mist my roots with water. We still want the ends to be really fluffy and you guys will see why when we get towards the end of the style. If you're also low porosity, be careful because the water might try and just run right out of your hair. That's happening to me right now. So I'm just gently massaging the water throughout my hair. So as you guys can see, that actually just made a huge difference as far as how sleek my hair is. So I'm not going to have to do too much for this next step. I will take my detangling brush, which you can actually get on Amazon and in some certain stores in Nigeria. I'm going to use that on my hair just to smooth down my roots a lot without injuring myself, of course, because tender headed life is really not the business. I'm now going to very gently pull on the center of my hair so that it can be as flat as possible. Now I'm going to put this into a fairly loose ponytail for now. So now we've gotten my hair actually a lot flatter. Now since we want a super duper slick ninja bun, I'm bringing out my holy grail gel, which is my Gorilla's Knot, the purple gel. And we're gonna just put that all through my roots. Maybe on the surface, I might put it further down you guys, but I don't like to do too much. So we'll see what's about to happen right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna rub this on my hands like so. Again, it's really snotty. If you guys watch my other videos, you know this gel is actually extremely snotlicious. I'm going to remove this hairband very gently and just put this on the roots. I'm going to take my tangle brush and smooth it in a bit, help distribute it through more layers of my hair. 
And now I'm going to take my bristle brush and I'm going to use the soft side to smooth my hair. Now that we've successfully accomplished that, I'm going to make a pretty tight ponytail. But again, if you're tender headed like me, make sure that you're not pulling on your hair so you don't pull out your brain. We're done with step one. So now I'm going to actually just twist up this front section. But first, let me actually pull it a little bit to get the front a bit flatter before I twist it up. Okay, there we go. Perfecto mundo. Okay, everyone, so I look like a unicorn, but step one is done. We're now going to work on the back half of my hair. And I'm going to do essentially the same thing I did with the front half but I'm going to take it in smaller sections so it's really flat. So let's take this section here. Oh my gosh, and as you can see, low porosity struggles, the water is just dripping right out of my hair. So I have to squeeze it into my hair. In fact, yes, low porosity hair tip. If you're low po like me, and you're trying to apply water to your hair, apply it, then quickly squeeze it into your hair. That will help it absorb more quickly than just letting it sit there. So I'm going to take my tangle brush. I'm going to apply some gel. I'm going to put the gel on my roots only. I'm going to use the soft side of my bristle brush to smooth my hair. Now I'm going to loosely apply my hair band. I'm just going to wrap it around to make a bun. That way when I add the next piece, it'll be nice and easy. Okay, so now let's work on this side. I'm going to grab a chunk of hair. I'm going to gauge that quickly. And my twist came undone, of course. Now I'm going to use a second ponytail and secure this very well. I think I'll only wrap it around twice, again, so I don't injure myself. So now we're on the last section. I'm going to make this very smooth. So let's spray our water. If you guys notice, I'm actually adding more water than I did in previous sections because we're at the back of the hair, more of this section is going to be sleek. I'm actually even going to lightly detangle. So as you can see, gently detangling upward. And what I'll do to make sure that this stays in the direction I'm brushing it is I'll put on a hairband after I finish it so I can get my gel. Let me quickly get a hairband. So now I've made a little bun with a hairband. I'm going to add some more gel to the back section and this is our final section. Then I'm going to find a scarf, ideally my favorite red bandana, and secure my hair so that I can lay it super flat. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit more gel just to ensure that this is really, 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 really snatched. I'm gonna take the soft side of my bristle brush now and just snatch the back. <laughs> Okay, also now I'm going to actually put on my last hairband and then we'll get to making the bun. So as I'm putting this on my head, I'm making sure not to make it too tight in the front so I don't snatch my front hairs out of my head. But I'm going to wrap this around three times. Okay, that was a workout. So now we're finished actually putting my hair in a ponytail. I'm going to gently pull off some places that are a little bit tight to loosen the hair. Again, because we're very focused on not injuring ourselves, especially since I'm very tender headed. Now we're going to get to making the bun. First things first, I put a little water on my hands just to add some moisture to my hair. 
And now I'm going to play with the shape of my hair. So let's see what shape will work really well for this bun. Probably the middle will stay high and the sides will be a bit low. I'm going to take the shorter pieces and start wrapping them around the base of my bun, gently rolling a few so that my hair doesn't feel uncomfortable. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to use bobby pins. So the goal is to make this bun as high as it can be. This is how I make my ninja buns without using any extensions. Now I'm not the best at using bobby pins or hair tools in general, so I kind of just pin it wherever I feel like it and hope for the best. Now it's a little bit sloppy, but what we're going to do is we're going to go back and clean it up. Okay, we're almost at the top and as you can see, it's starting to take shape quite a bit. Now I like my buns pretty skinny, so like I said, we're gonna go back and clean it up. Or actually, I like it fat, but thin and tall, a little bit like thick. That's how I like my buns, guys. I like my buns slim, thick, <laughs> just like me. So now that we're at the top, I keep going, really. Again, I like to make my buns super tall. So now that we're at the top, I'm just gonna fold that over. There we go. Now it's time for the cleanup sesh. Sometimes I just tuck the little pieces hanging out. It's easier for me, don't have to worry about using bobby pins. When I use too many bobby pins, they get lost in the sauce and lost in my hair, and that's just too much stress. And I'll also shape it with my hands. Usually after I do this, I'll put a scarf on the bun as well to help it stay in place. Okay, so it's like my ninja bun has gotten a lot taller. And again, this is my natural hair with no extensions, y'all. I'm going to apply some more gel on the sides and find the scarf to slay and lay my hair on my edges. Let me go find the scarf really, really quickly and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys the final product. Okay, you guys, so I'm back and I have my scarf here with me. I'm pretty sure this is a silk scarf. What we're gonna do now is we're quickly going to slay my edges. We're not gonna do all that struggle, struggle that we struggled. In the video where I tried to do a jasmine brown and a chic natural tutorial at the same time, we're actually going to lay my edges the way I normally do, which is very simple and stress-free. So I'm going to remove this scarf and I'm going to quickly start out my edge situation. Edges exposed, I'm now going to just pull them out. Okay, so I've literally just pulled out my baby hairs. I'm going to put some gel on them and we're just going to lay them the way I normally do. So let me actually put this gel on the back of my hands for easy access. And I'm going to do one side at a time. First, I'm gonna brush everything down. Then I'm going to add a bit of shape. I'm actually going to add a little more gel just to lock them in place. I'm going to follow the shape that I've laid down. Let's work on the other parts. <laughs> Let's wet them a little bit. Quickly slap some gel on there. shape after I cover my hair for a while, which we're going to do right now. So now we're gonna take about 10 minutes. We're gonna let my edges and the sides of my hair set before we come back and remove the scarf and reveal the final look. Okay, you guys, so now it's time for the big reveal. I'm gonna show you the final product of setting my hair and my ninja bun. So we're gonna take off the scarf. Drum roll, please. edges as you can see are laid and slayed we're looking really clutch my hair is really really laid and my bun is extremely high i have to actually move back a little bit so you guys can see it properly but it's gotten way bigger than it used to be i'm super stoked about that like whoa so you guys what that tells me is that my hair is growing and i'm super excited about that 
So everyone, this is the final product of my hair ninja bun. This is my super tall bun, super easy to get. Doesn't take too much. Even if you have very kinky, very, very thick hair, just like I do, you can achieve this style with a bit of patience and a lot of gel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you guys enjoy this type of content. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you like this style. Let me know what other styles you guys think I should try. That would be really awesome to hear from you all. What exactly you'd like to see me do with my very tender scalp. <laughs> Be sure to also share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on. I don't know what you're doing if you're not subscribed. Join the Z Star and the Zara Nicola TV family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out my Instagram. I'll definitely be posting some fire pics of this hairstyle and let me know what you think. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and talk to you next time.